sometime it happens that uh, the qualifying asset either the asset disposed of or the asset that has been purchased of is partly used for business purpose and uh, partly used for non business purpose that is the private use so remember that the rollover relief is only available against the business use of asset so for example if business use is 60% so whatever is the rollover relief that you have calculated it is to be adjusted with the business use and you can only defer the business portion of rollover relief similarly sometime it happens that the reinvestment take place in a depreciating asset so what is a depreciating asset a depreciating asset is defined as a vesting asset having life of 50 years or less or an asset that becomes vesting asset within 10 years the common example of the qualifying depreciating assets which is fixed plant and machinery that falls in the first category that is the vesting asset having life of up to 50 years the second one is the leased hold land and building having life of 60 years or less now what would be the consequences that uh, if we sell an asset qualifying asset and acquire a depreciating qualifying asset so if this is the case the capital gain is not to be rolled over so that means the gain is not adjusted with the base cost in a state the gain is simply deferred it means the gain is frozen so at the time of disposal there will be no cgt consequences but that gain is frozen and it will become taxable when at the earliest of following three events number 1 that is the disposal of the depreciating asset which ever event took place first so depreciating asset disposal of that the depreciating asset ceases to be used and the third one is 10 years from the date of acquisition so whichever is earlier so it is not deducted from the cost of the replacement asset but sometime it is possible that before the deferred gain crystallizes a non depreciating asset is purchased and the original deferred gain can now be rolled over as per the similar rule
also known that known uh, also note that the partial reinvestment and known business case is similar as that we have discussed earlier that in case of partial reinvestment partial gain is taxable and partial gain is deferred or frozen and in case of non business use asset then only business use portion is deferred while non business use portion is taxable immediately so for example an asset was uh, sold a qualifying asset was sold at a price of 70000 and a fixed plant and machinery is acquired at a cost of 1 lakh 20000 on 15th august 2014 so now in this situation an asset was sold and uh, on the disposal of asset there was a chargeable gain on the first disposal there was a chargeable gain of 15000 so in this case the deferred gain is 15000 is frozen to the earliest of the disposal of fixed plant and machinery now a fixed plant and machinery is subsequently disposed of for example then the deferred gain will be taxable at the time of the disposal of fixed plant and machinery